For today's notes, we're going to be looking at the arc length of a circle, or the distance around a circle, which is a fraction of the circumference, and then also tangent lines. In, in your reading, you read that a tangent line intersects a circle at only one point. So at the top of the page, it says the arc length of a circle is the distance along an arc measured in linear units. So that could be inches, feet, yards, meters, so on and so forth. So this arc length, so in this picture, arc length AB is noted with the letter S. That arc length is a fraction of the total circumference of your circle. So S is equivalent to, well in order to know that fraction, I must be given the central angle how much of the circle are we looking at? And there's a total of 360 degrees in a circle. So it's that fraction times the total circumference. I'm going to rewrite it with the formula for circumference, which is pi times diameter, or 2 pi r. You could also find the arc length by using a proportion. So again, how much out of 360 degrees do you have, that ratio should be equivalent to the arc length over the total circumference of the circle. So looking at question one, it says what is the arc length to the nearest tenth, so we're going to round, of an arc with a central angle of 60 degrees and the radius is 5 inches. So 5 inches, 60 degrees, what is this arc length. So 60 out of total of 360 is one-sixth of the circle. So the arc length is going to be one-sixth of 2 pi r. The radius is 5, so one-sixth of 10 pi. Rounded is approximately 5.2 inches. Now, if the question wanted an exact answer, I would leave it in terms of pi. So, 1 6th of 10 pi would be 10 pi over 6. Reduced would be 5 pi over 3, or 5 thirds pi. This is an exact answer. An exact answer when it comes to circumference and area is in terms of pi. Now we're going to take a look at the relationship between a tangent and a radius. So if L is tangent to circle A, then I know that L is perpendicular to the radius AB in this case. If I'm told that L is perpendicular at that point, then I can conclude that L is tangent to the circle. So a tangent line of a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of tangency. So number two says if L is tangent to circle A, then I know, or I'm sorry, number two, it says line BA is tangent to circle O at A. We have radii OA and OC, and OC is extended to intersect line AB at B. So if length BA is 15, let's mark that in our picture, and length OB is 17, I need to find the measure of a radius. Again, the radii OA and OC are in the picture, but since OC was extended to B and I have a length of 17, I'm going to look at and find the radius OA. And I know that since o, um, AB is a tangent line, the radius is perpendicular to the tang uh, tangent line at the point of tangency. So that angle, OAB, is a 90 degree angle, which gives me a right triangle. And this is a triple. It's the 8, 15, 17 Pythagorean triple. So the measure of a radius of circle O is 8 units. Number three, it says the PR and PS are tangent to the circle Q. Find the measure of angle Q, 
Well, since QR is a radius and PR is our tangent line, at this point in tangency is a 90 degree angle. Since QS is a radius and PS is a tangent line, at this point in tangency is another 90 degree angle. That quadrilateral PRQS has an interior angle sum of 360 degrees. Since I know the sum of two angles is 180, the remaining sum of P, x minus 12, and 2x, angle Q, is going to be 180 degrees. So add the 12, combine the x's, 3x equals 192, divide by 3, and x is 64. Double that to find the measure of angle Q. The measure of angle Q is 128 degrees. Now given two tangents to a circle, and the two tangents, if you take a look in the notation, A, B, A, C, they share the common letter A, and if you look at the picture, they're drawn from the same external point. So let's make a note that the tangents are drawn from the same external point. When that happens, their lengths are equal. So AB is congruent to AC. So in question four, it says that AB and AC, those segments are tangent to circle D, find the length AC. So these segments are congruent and their lengths are equal. So 8x equals 2x squared, divide by 2, 4x equals x squared. I'm going to solve by factoring, so I'm going to bring over the 4x. Factor the greatest common factor, so for x squared and 4x, the GCF is x. So I have x times x minus 4, giving me the two solutions of 0 and 4. I'm going to reject the root or uh, solution of zero, as that would give me two lengths of zero, and therefore I get x is equivalent to four. When I plug it in, two times four squared is two times 16, or 32. And then eight times four is also 32. So it checks. So length AC is equal to 32. Number five, it says circle O is inscribed in triangle ABC, so it's inside. So that the circle is tangent to AB at F, BC at E, and AC at D. So if AF equals FB, which is five, so the length of AF is equal to the length of FB, which is five. Coming from the same external point, now if AF is five, AD is also five. And if BF is five, then BE is five. Because those lines, AF, AC and BC are all tangent lines. And then last, it says that DC is 7. So if C to D is 7, then C to E is also 7, as those are tangent lines drawn from the same external point. So my perimeter, I have four fives there, and two lengths of 7, and 20 plus 14 gives me a perimeter of 34 units. Last, common external tangents. So though those tangent lines are on the outside or external tangents to those circles, if they're common external tangents, then they are congruent. So length AB is equal to length CD. In number six, it says assume the segments that appear to be tangent are tangent. Find length DE which is right here. I know that AC is going to be congruent to AE, and I also know that to these, the first circles, AD is congruent to AB. So X is equal to 23. If I want to find the length of DE, I need to plug in X here because DE is going to be equivalent to BC 
as the holes are congruent and these two parts are congruent. So by subtraction, BC is going to be congruent to DE. So DE is equivalent to X minus 5 and 23 minus 5 gives us 18. And the last one, number 7, it says circle A has a radius of 5. Circle B has a radius of 2, and CD is a common tangent. What is the length of AB? Since CD is a tangent line, and right here, the intersection of a radius and a tangent line is a 90 degree angle. So here, another radius and tangent, a 90 degree angle. I'm going to draw a line here so that it's parallel to CD and gives me a rectangle. And I'm doing that because if this is 2, this length is going to be 2, which gives me this piece of 3. And with the rectangle, if CD is 12, this is 12. So here I have a highlight in pink a right triangle because I created a rectangle right here remember and that supplementary the supplement would be a 90 degree angle as well so now I have a right triangle which I can use Pythagorean theorem to find CB so I'll call that X so the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the square root of the sum of the legs squared 3 squared is 9 12 squared is 144 so that's equivalent to 9 plus 144, 153. And I need to look to see if I can reduce the square root of 153, as all of my answers should be in simplest fraction or simplest radical form. And since it didn't tell me around, I need to leave my answer in exact form, which is in terms of a radical, no decimal. So the largest perfect square factor of 153 is 9. It's 9 times 17. Take the square root of 9, and I get 3 radical 17. So length AB is equal to 3 radical 17 units. I also set it up in the form of the hypotenuse is equal to the square root. Rather than doing 3 squared plus 12 squared equal to x squared, because I'll eventually have to take the square root and show both the plus and minus, and therefore have to reject. So in setting it up this way, saves me from having to show both the positive and negative solutions, and therefore having to reject because we can't have a negative length 